Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is a brand new feature called sharing Power Automate desktop flows. Let's go. Now let's talk a little bit about why this episode is important. So naturally we have had the ability to share cloud flows or what used to be known as API flows for quite some time. It's been in the product for years. It allowed us to go ahead and share our flows with other colleagues with the idea to support collaboration. In other times it was because someone might be leaving the organization and you want to transition that flow to somewhere else. Now previously we didn't have the ability to do this with desktop flows when building out our RPA solutions. But as of the generally available release back in December, uh, we now have this ability to share our Power Automate desktop flows as well. And so naturally we see this a lot with centers of excellence or large enterprise organizations. They want to be able to collaborate on RPA use cases. Sometimes it could be a very large process that you're trying to automate and you want to parallelize those development activities. In the past it was pretty difficult to do if not impossible and now it is very possible using this sharing model that we're going to talk about today. Before we dive deeper into the content, I wanted to let you know about an emerging community found at serverlessnotes.com. This is a community resource that covers best practices, tips, and latest announcements built on contributions by technology enthusiasts from around the globe. On serverlessnotes.com, you'll find content related to Power Automate, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Service Bus, Azure Functions, and much, much more. Serverlessnotes.com is brought to you by Serverless360, a portal that is focused on operations and support for Microsoft Azure serverless resources. Now this is a complementary tool to the Azure portal and it helps organizations in supporting Azure serverless applications. You can find out more about Serverless360 at serverless360.com. Okay, so what does this experience look like? What we can go ahead and do is we navigate to my flows as we would to find any of our other flows and then what we're going to see is there's a, a desktop flows tab that's now available as of the GA release as well. What we can then do is go ahead and find a, a desktop flow and then there's when we click on the ellipsis we're going to see this sharing experience right here. So the important thing to take away from this screen is that there's really two different roles that can be assigned to another user. One is a user can go ahead and run your desktop flow but cannot change it. So this could be a situation where you've gone out, you've built, maybe it's an attended, could be unattended, I guess it doesn't really matter, but you've got essentially a desktop flow that you want someone else to be able to call. So someone else could go ahead, create their own cloud flow with their own logic, but really be able to take advantage or leverage your desktop flow for execution and they could go ahead and automate that business process from their essentially their account, their connection that uh, would be created in their cloud flow. The next one is a co-ownership and this is where the co-owner would be able to edit, delete, see the run history and add or delete others from a sharing perspective as well. And so this would make a lot of sense if you're going to have some collaborative collaborative development going on or you've got a situation where someone might be leaving the organization and you want to be able to transition the ownership of that desktop flow to someone else. And let's, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's just jump into a demo and see this live. Okay, so here I am. I am in the Power Automate Maker portal. The sharing capabilities are surfaced here. Uh, so don't be looking for them in Power Automate Desktop. As I mentioned, we're going to click on My Flows. Then we have access to all of our different tabs here. We're going to click on Desktop Flows. And then here is the flow that I want to go ahead and be able to share. Now, what you'll notice here is when you hi highlight or hover over this item, we do have this sharing circle here. But we also have it available when we click on the ellipsis. Now, this is where I can go ahead and click on Share and then assign the correct role. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just go ahead and assign this to Kent. Uh, I'm currently logged in as a user known as Lydia. And so we're going to assign Kent some co-ownership capabilities. So let's go ahead, let's click on share, and we can see that the flow was shared. 
Now what I'm going to do is flip over to that Kent user and let's see what he has access to now. Okay, so I'm now logged in as Kent and I'm in the same environment. And now what I'm going to do is just refresh. I had this session already logged in previously. And sure enough, now we have my shared flow. And you can see that the access is a little bit different. It's, it's no longer owner, what we saw previously with the other user. It is co-owner because this is something that I have been assigned to. Now, as part of being a co-owner, I do have the ability to reshare this and actually share it with someone else. So those are the two modes. This is uh, how you go about sharing desktop flows, brand new feature. So really great to see this capability now part of the overall platform. All right, so that concludes another episode. Thanks for checking this video out. If you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and find me at Weirzy, and uh, I'm always posting Power Platform related news over there. Uh, in addition, you're obviously on YouTube, so I appreciate that. Likes and subscribes are always welcome, so if you haven't done that, go ahead and subscribe just to avoid missing future content. I do post weekly on all things Power Platform. All right, so thanks for checking out this episode, and we'll see you again soon on the channel. Take care.